Hi and welcome, Kathleen here. I've been asked a lot about how I paint trees, so I thought I'd just give you a few tips. A first look at the overall shape of the tree. And this tree kind of reminds me of an umbrella. I love the way the light was hitting it. And because this is an afternoon light, it gives it a beautiful golden glow. But we do have some very definite directions that the sun is coming from, which helps to create the overall tree. So locate the direction of your sun. And in this case, it's coming from here. And the overall shapes I see within this tree are these. Once I locate those, I know where the majority of the information lies which will give this tree form. This is my interpretation of the tree. I've moved it over to the left because I do have plans on this side and I thought it would make a better composition. So my focal is right around in here. So I have a light, a medium, and a dark side. This will help with the overall shape of the tree, bringing it to life. So these are the basic shapes that I have painted within this tree. And if you'll notice within those shapes, I have a light, a medium, and a dark side. It's the best way I have found to create the illusion of limbs. So value is a relative darkness or lightness of a color. Value can create a sense of depth in a painting, and you as the artist manipulate value through shading and blending colors together. In this painting, I have chosen to break it up within four basic values. The lightest sky value, ground value, which reflects the sky, which is about a number two in value, and the vertical shapes, which will be about a value three because they're picking up less sunlight. And then the shadows, which will be about a four in this painting, have the least amount of light source. Another great option that Rebel offers us is within our color square here, we can come over to our little hamburger here and go to color wheel, come down the fly out to grid, and you have the option of loading either a nine by nine, a seven by seven, or a five by five grid. If we do the five by five grid, we have a value scale very similar to what I have. And here are your colors relative to that value off to the side. You want a few more values to work with, which you eventually will. Come over here to, you can do a seven by seven, and you can do a nine by nine, or just choose none and work out to the side like I have done. You can come over here to view, and you can change this to a grayscale. Viewing your painting in grayscale helps to identify what areas need more or less contrast in your painting. It helps you see your lightest light, your darkest darks, and you can ask yourself, does my image communicate harmony and balance? You can also change your reference to a grayscale. This will help you stay within the proper values relative to that color. So looking at our reference here of the fall tree, if you tap the sky here, you'll see that we are in the value range of one. If you come here and you tap in, you're gonna get the color that it's picking up here, but this is gonna tell you the value that also it is within. This is a wonderful tool. You will improve the overall appearance of your paintings by considering the values of the colors and their placements within your painting. I've already prepared a background for this tree since this is mainly about painting the tree. The brushes I used, I got off of the Escape Motions website. They're called Knives, and I have taken a few and made them into what I'd like, just tweaked them and added them to my favorites. So this whole area was painted with a knife texture and I really like the way it works. So I'm gonna take one here that I've made called Tree Trunks. And as you can see, if I hold my brush horizontal, I can get something that resembles a trunk of a tree. Remember our sunlight's coming from over here. 
I'm going to sample in this orange that I have right here and I'm going to use it so that I can stay within this color and then sample in these particular colors here so that uh, I might stay within the same color harmony and the correct value. This will be a speed painting from here on out. If you'd like to see the entire video, check out the link below. Happy painting!